But when I say y'all, I had colonics before, and this one was something serious. Like, just Chanel here. Hey guys, just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am taking you along to get a colonic with me, wowzer. So many people always have questions about colonics, so I figure, you know, let me do an updated video on this. I haven't gotten one since before the pandemic. I'm taking some trips soon, so it is definitely time. I'm going to literally show you guys the entire experience, and then we'll also talk about aftercare and just how you can prep your body and all those things. I have been drinking a whole lot of water. This is my second gallon. Um, I started yesterday like drinking just more water than I usually do so it is about 11 a.m. and this is how much I've had today so far um, it's so important to drink water before you get a colonic because you want to get the best results right and you need a lot of liquid so that you can flush it all out <laughs> now if you're new here my name is Chanel and I create lifestyle videos as a full-time flight attendant entrepreneur and content creator over on my channel we're all about a quality life and you deserve that too so make sure you check out my loose sleep tea shop I did have tea this morning as well I, I really wanted a taco <laughs> I didn't do it uh, this is my keep it hot thermos from quality my tea shop I drank my detox tea this morning definitely one of my favorite self-care practices is having my love thy liver peachy lemon ginger detox tea every morning it's super gentle keeps you regular helps beat the blow all those things but the colonic is needed I'd say maybe twice a year maybe even once a year but um if you want something that's more for maintenance definitely check out love that liver at shopquality.com yeah let's go inside and um get into this vlog and i have a lot of groceries to show y'all too because i was like oh girl i don't want to get tempted to eat some barbecue today so let me get some salads but i'll show y'all that later I visit Clean Start here in Buckhead. They not only do colonics, but they have a full herb shop. They do uh, foot detoxes and I believe like infrared sauna if you're into that. So I'm gonna show you guys some herbs. If you are looking for supplements, this is a great place to get, um, you know, all of your health and wellness goodies. All right, so this is the machine, y'all, that, or the table, I don't know what you call it, but whoa. There's water shooting out of here. And uh, we're just gonna talk all about it while I'm doing this for the next, what, is it like a 45 minute session, right? Um, 45, 30, we'll see. Yeah, it's a 30 to 40, 40 minute session. Okay. Okay, here's how it's all set up. So she has this tube situation. This is where the water shoots out. This has to be inserted into your rectum. And of course there's glove, there's a cover. And what's really cool about this particular machine, I love coming here for this, you're able to see everything that's actually coming out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and undress and then get on the table and we'll talk a little bit more about the process. There's a mirror here, so I'm able to see everything and the water pressure and all that. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yes. Okay, Excellent. At this she just point, the water. we're going to try to hold that water for a count of 60 before we let go. Okay. You're not going to always always reach 60, mm -hmm. but we just want to hold that water. That's what's important. Okay, okay. yep, got it. With okay. all of our tools here. Yes, this is my favorite part. It's the massage during it. Because <laughs> you will start cramping, y'all. It's like you're holding it in. You want to hold it in, so literally, is it basically your stomach, your intestines filling with water, and then you're your letting out? Yes, your intestines Ooh. are literally filling with water right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. So it's going to collect whatever loose debris, waste, mm -hmm. parasite, whatever is available and detached to come out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's literally like a menstrual cramp. <laughs> that peristalsis. <laughs> yeah. I want to see your first release, and then I can leave you to practice on your own. Okay. Release. Ooh, good job. You're holding the water now. You're holding it. I know. I'm it out. I don't know. There we go. Good job. Very good. Very good. I want to ask you before I go, mm -hmm. why did you decide to have a co op today? Oh, uh, well, I really wanted to have one a few weeks ago because I was going on vacation. Yeah, I haven't, I didn't go on the vacation, but I'm leaving tomorrow to go somewhere. So I'm like, oh, well, let me try to, okay. Okay. you know, get it done. Okay. Just try to hold that. 
fill that water for as long as you can. Like I said, try to count to 60 each time. It's time for you to have a fill before you let it go. Okay. You're not going to always be able to make it. Mm -hmm. Massage your tummy. Just show yourself some love and pity before anything at all. Okay. Please don't hesitate to bring it out. Thank you. Uh, the cramping is so bad. Like, But you want to hold. Like, you really want to hold because if you don't, like hold the water in it's not getting um i'm looking at everything down here but it's not like getting kind of to the top of your intestines like to get all of everything out you know what i mean you can't just surface cleanse it's like a real deep cleanse i have a really high pain tolerance so usually i can do that oh but i can just feel like my stomach filling up Wait, I'm gonna fold again and show y'all. If you have a weak stomach, this is the time for you to like fast forward a little bit. Oh, I didn't show y'all like this part, so I just have this covered. Everything from the waist down is off. And y'all can see like my stomach is bloated, like because of this freaking water. But um, yeah, like I would definitely recommend like massage your stomach during this because child, it, it's a little painful. But not pain, it's like painful just in your stomach, not in your colon. I can tell that it's like getting towards the top of like it's getting more than it's cleansing okay I feel like this video is probably gonna get just as many views as my wax video because I feel like people don't really show this on um, gross and you guys know, I eat really healthy, like, for the most part. I gotta show y'all again. Like, the weak stomach folks, y'all might as well just click off the video. <laughs> just fast forward to the food part, which you should eat afterward. <laughs> to that the tube is called the speculum by the way i'm about to slide off of that um and she said push as much water out as i can um yeah i'm gonna stay here for a second because i don't want to get up there's like still things coming out so she stopped the flow of water <laughs> she mentioned like if you feel water while you're getting dressed, hop back on the table if you can't make it to the bathroom. I ain't trying to do all that. I'm trying to make sure it's all out. Like, <sighs> There's some warm wipes here to clean up, um, which is not really like a lot of cleanup, by the way. Like, you can definitely go about your day. Last time when I left here, I went to Whole Foods and got food. Thankfully, I already went to the grocery store, so I'm gonna head to my office, actually show you guys what i got i'll probably wait a couple hours to eat though because i kind of feel defeated like like lighter but still like tired all right here's my mess i'm gonna put this in the trash i'm dressed um there's also a digestive system charts in here so we'll talk a little bit about this because i think it'll be nice to kind of go over why people get um, colonics. But if y'all don't take nothing else from this video, girl, this was messy, okay? I wouldn't show y'all the table, but I ain't even, I think y'all seen enough. All I gotta say is that, right there. Um, I okay. do have availability so today. I have a four electrolyte five. drink. And then tomorrow this is electrolyte with chlorophyll um, and um, a, a little bit of peppermint. Y'all, okay. this was an experience.
She said it may be a little bit salty, so it smells great. It smells like peppermint. Didn't really have a taste other than the mint. Oh, wow. I don't know. I feel a little speechless. There's a quote up here that says, Laughter is the best medicine unless you have diarrhea. <laughs> so, it turns out they recommend when you get your first colonic or if you haven't had one in a while to actually come back in a week. So, I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> because wow like I'm surprised also this is the aftercare sheet um, they gave me so it says for the next 48 hours I need to keep a light clean diet um, steam veggies are best oh I didn't realize that raw veggies can be gassy anyway fresh fruit fresh juices healthy soups and stews um, Healthy whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, barley, porridge, lean protein such as nuts, seeds, fish, organic chicken, or turkey breast. Hmm, that's good to know. Definitely going to have some chicken tomorrow. <laughs> um, and then probiotic foods such as sauerkraut. Eat smaller portions. Um, they also recommend that you take a probiotic. So, yeah. Whew. I definitely feel like a lot lighter, but I also feel like very confused. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's normal, but when I say y'all, I had colonics before and this one was something serious. Like, what I got from Trader Joe's, I'm at the office and I just wanted to go ahead and bring the food with me because if I get hungry, you know, I don't want to cheat. So just some blackberries. Um, I'm also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm traveling tomorrow. So I'll be bringing half of these items with me on the plane. And I got a pear in there as well. And then Trader Joe's, they have the best salad kits. Sesame Crunch Chop Salad Kit. We have this Mediterranean style orzo pasta salad. A vegan ranch salad. Um, Southwest chop salad. So I'll probably bring the salads on the plane with me which is like a big um, container to make these in and then as I mentioned earlier they recommended uh, I eat they recommend steamed or like cooked veggies instead of raw veggies so I'll I should be able to just throw this in the microwave later for dinner I'm just gonna have all of these veggies for dinner and yeah, what else did I get oh, I got some wraps too I got this rainbow wrap as well sweet potato hummus beaten spinach looks so good I'd probably bring this on the plane and then um a creamy hummus vegetable wrap probably bring both of these on the plane because this will hold up well for tomorrow so these are all the items i will show you guys how i prepare a few of them and yeah <laughs> Some millennial stuff right here. Dang, you can really tell what it says. What it says. Yes, okay. the top of the tea, the top of the T is missing right here. I think. Huh? Wait. That's the top of the T, no? We need, I think, one more. Oh, oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Too close. I see. I see. Let's go a little bit closer. Wow. wow, this is crazy. Somehow I always end up out to eat. I don't know what's up with me. Out with friends and I'm still eating healthy according to my aftercare diet. dinner just some steamed vegetables I added a little bit of salt and some pepper butter as well um, not even gonna lie these vegetables from Trader Joe's bomb mm-hmm the whole day I felt really weird I just 
I just feel weird. Like I dumped five babies. <laughs> I feel like my body is just like, what are you doing? But after I ate lunch today, I feel like I'm not cramping anymore, which is really nice. Like my stomach feels completely empty. Like I feel like there's nothing in here, but I don't feel hungry, you know what I mean? So that's good. I'm sure I'll get um, some questions out in the comments. So feel free to ask away. We can chat down there. A colonic does not hurt at all. It's the cramping that hurts. So it's more the stomach, like the abdominal cramping. Your rectum, nothing hurts down there. Um, the thing about a colonic is it's flushing away good and bad bacteria. So you wanna make sure you're taking a probiotic to uh, replenish those good bacterias. I'm probably gonna do two more just to really get all up in my intestines. I heard that literally people lose like 20 pounds after like a series of colonics, like three to six. So that's kind of crazy. Of course, with healthy, healthy eating, and I'm gonna weigh myself in a little bit. So I'll put that somewhere here. Um, I don't really feel like I lost weight. I just feel lighter. So let me know what questions you guys have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat informative or at least just, obviously I'm not a medical professional and I don't do this um, you know, professionally. So if you have any questions, I would say definitely do your research, but hopefully this just gives you a very candid look into the experience itself. Uh, I'm gonna keep on eating these darn vegetables, take a shower, and go to bed. Thanks for watching. Bye!